Hi, I'm Robert. In today's video, I'm going to take this image of Corona Del Mar from here to here, all in Lightroom. I'm going to use the graduated filter tool to quickly edit this image. Let's get started at the bottom and work our way up. Make sure we're on the current version. We're going to skip vignetting. Click on constrain crop. Zoom in on the horizon and let's straighten this image. Continue up. As always, click on these two boxes, remove chromatic aberrations, and enable profile corrections. Moving up, sharpening, our standard sharpening routine, 100. Hold down our mask by pressing Alt. Let's sharpen everywhere except the sky and some of the water. Let's go up. We're going to skip the color panel for now, but we'll return. Now we're at the basic panel. This image is quite cool. We have a lot of blue in the white area, so let's warm it up. Right about there. Now we have a nice golden highlights on our foreground elements here. I'm gonna bring the highlights all the way down, recover that sky, and bring the shadows up. And that's already a little too high. We'll bring it down to 35. No need to bring our white slider up. We're already clipping in the white channel. We can bring our black slider down a little bit, just negative 10. I'm going to bring a little more warmth into the highlights here. So let's go to split toning and let's grab a warm color. That's pretty good. I like the tones and the shadows, so I'm not going to add any color in. Now let me show you how to use the graduated tool to quickly edit this image. Let's open up a new tool. Pull down over the sky while holding shift to make your horizon line straight. If we press O, we can see we're affecting everything, but I only want to be affecting the sky, but not the cliffs. So let's go down here, range mask, luminance. We can click on show luminance mask. Let's grab our dropper, click in the sky. Now you can see we're only affecting the sky area and nothing else. So we can also adjust the strength of it. Let's pull it down like this so we get maximum effect right about here. Turn off our mask. Now I'm going to warm up the sky and add some saturation. So let's look at before, before and after. Now we added some warmth and brought out the oranges. So using range mask with luminance is a quick and easy way to select the sky. Now let's use it in reverse and I'm going to use it to affect the rocks. So let's grab a new tool. Pull up over these rocks. I have shift enabled. And we're going to go down to range mask once again. Click luminance. Turn on our mask. Grab our dropper and click on our rocks. The masking looks pretty good to me, so I don't think we need to make any fine tune adjustments down here. So I'm gonna turn off our mask. Since these are our foreground elements and I really want the eye to be drawn to them, I'm gonna make them brighter slightly. Exposure up 0.2, and I'm gonna bring in a bunch of texture. So we brightened these rocks up and brought in some sharpness to help draw your eye into them. Let's grab another graduated filter, click new, pull up. I'm gonna hold down shift to get this straight. And I'm gonna go down here, range mask, luminance. Let's turn on our masking again, grab our dropper. This time I wanna work on the water. So we'll click on somewhere that's white. Let's adjust our mask a little bit. Just pull one of these sides, that gets it away too much. This makes it stronger. So we'll go to about here. Let's turn off our mask. And let's brighten up this water. I'm gonna do that with exposure. Bring it up quite a bit, right about here. And that looks good. So let's take a look at our before and after. Here's before, our water is kind of dark. Our rocks are just blending in. They're not punching out. 
my eyes and drawn to them. And then we applied a few masks, and here's after. Bright white water, lots of texture and color and brightness in our rocks. It really changes the way you look at this image. Before I was looking at the background first. Now my eyes drawn into this area, so I'm looking from my foreground to my background. To help accentuate the foreground, let's darken this background area with a brush. So I have a brush and I have auto mask enabled. I'm gonna press O so we can take a look at our overlay and see where we're brushing. Brush all the cliffs, that's good. Turn off our mask and let's just darken this area a little bit. Just using exposure. By darkening it, it helps draw the eye away from it. I really want this foreground area to be the main draw of this image. So first you see the sharp bright rocks, then your eye goes through the image to see all the warmth in the background. I'm going to close my brush. I'm going to do a little more work in the HSL panel. So let's click on luminance. Let's darken up orange and yellow. Go to saturation and bring up orange and yellow. I just want to add a little bit more color to the sky and the orange and yellow highlights in the water. Using the range mask is a very powerful tool. You no longer have to go in with the brush tool and individually paint over small little areas. That alone can save you a ton of time. I hope you enjoyed these time-saving tips. If you did, please like and subscribe. Thanks.